Russia faces greater challenges in defending its Black Sea fleet against Ukrainian drone attacks. The Ukrainian-designed and built Magura V-5 unmanned surface drones have significantly disrupted Russia's Black Sea fleet. U.S. Naval Institute reported this. It is noted that this has been exemplified by the sinking of the Caesar Kunikov landing ship earlier this year. This nighttime assault, involving up to 10 high-speed drones, demonstrated the potency and precision of Ukraine's maritime capabilities, inflicting substantial damage with minimal cost. The March attack saw two drones sink the Caesar Kunikov, which was likely transporting ammunition. The attack highlighted the vulnerability of Russian naval assets to these relatively low-cost, high-impact drones, which are likened to jet skis loaded with explosives. Despite Russian defenses destroying four drones, the attack underscored a significant shift in naval warfare where unmanned systems can achieve high-value targets. Historian Leo Doherty from the Army's Cadet Command at Fort Knox noted that such attacks have led to the loss of about one-third of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, which initially comprised 40 surface warships and seven submarines. Reports indicate that at least 15 Russian warships have been sunk or severely damaged, primarily through cruise missiles and advanced sea drones. Some of the fleet's vessels have been relocated to the eastern Mediterranean to evade further attacks. In response to the escalating threat, Turkey invoked the Montreux Convention, closing the Black Sea to incoming warships, including Russian ships not originally part of the Black Sea fleet. Ukrainian success with maritime drones is partly attributed to the confined waters of the Black Sea and the relatively static nature of Russian targets. This success has exposed the vulnerability of the Black Sea fleet's headquarters in Sevastopol to persistent and determined Ukrainian attacks, U.S. Naval Institute says. The repeated drone and missile strikes have forced the Black Sea Fleet to relocate several ships to more secure ports such as Novorossiysk. These relocations include three Kilo-class submarines and various surface vessels. The ongoing threat has necessitated a strategic shift from offensive operations to active defense, particularly to protect amphibious capabilities and maintain operational viability. The attacks have not only disrupted military operations, but have also impacted global trade, particularly grain exports. The Black Sea blockade by Russia, which had driven up global grain prices, was effectively broken by Ukrainian strikes, restoring the flow of goods and averting potential food crises in regions dependent on Ukrainian exports. The rapid modification of Ukrainian drones and missiles to counter new Russian defenses has been a key factor in maintaining the efficacy of their attacks. In conclusion, the ongoing naval war in the Black Sea highlights the transformative impact of unmanned systems on modern naval warfare. The lessons learned from Ukraine's innovative use of drones offer valuable insights for other nations facing similar maritime threats. Давай, 
Мужики, без хуйни, отвечаю. Без хуйни все будет окей. Бегом, бегом, марш! Братан, окажу помощь, базарю. Только надо дойти, потому что сейчас ваши же нас разъебашат. 